The sun has returned. Look at that beautiful 73 degrees. We had a lot of cloud cover today. Mid level clouds, high clouds as a disturbance moved across the area and it's still passing through and we actually had some green pop up on the radar. So precipitation was picked up on our local radars, but most of it just completely evaporated before it reached the surface and we call that Virga. And so a lot of it, I know your radars may have been active or looked active, but a lot of that precipitation just did not make it because of how dry the atmosphere is. So temperatures are in the 60s and 70s and with the thick cloud cover, our temperatures did not hit the upper 70s like what we thought previously, but that's okay. It was still really, really nice. Still have dry air in place even with the onshore winds, but the dew points, the humidity is going to come up. Wednesday, still in that fair, almost muggy category. Thursday, in the muggy category because we'll have dew points in the 60s becoming swampy before a cold front moves in. But check out the weekend. The dry air returns. So a very rare uh, cool down in April. I will certainly take it. I'm sure most of you will too because there's going to be a lot of activities around the area this weekend. Temperatures tonight will be in the 50s instead of the 40s. So it's not going to be as chilly and will warm up quickly under mostly sunny skies. Tomorrow winds will pick up out of the southeast, you see that between about 5 and 15 miles per hour. So that's just going to bring all that moisture back from the Gulf of Mexico, that warm, moist air. Temperatures tomorrow, highs low in mid 80s, about 85 in Denham Springs. Southeast wind again, 5 to 15. And then Thursday, we'll have sun and clouds, 86 degrees. And then Friday, possibly as early as overnight Thursday and into Friday morning, we'll have showers and thunderstorms move in. Saturday, as long as the front clears by Friday, or Saturday morning rather, then we'll have some early, early rain clearing and then the rest of the day is going to be nice. 72 degrees for a high. Some may be a little cooler than that, but Friday's the day that we'll have to pay attention and likely the most disruptive weather for the next seven days. We have a level two risk for severe weather just northwest of us. That is all the way from southeastern central Texas all the way to the I-20 corridor in Jackson and more than likely we're going to be placed under a risk zone going forward. It's just more so to our northwest as of right now. Damaging winds would be our main concern. So here's a look at the GFS showing some early morning rain Friday, but the bulk of it moving into the afternoon, evening, and potentially with the cold front overnight. But the GFS has the cold front clearing prior to sunrise on Saturday. That's what we do want because of everything going on this weekend. Rain to totals half of an inch up to an inch and a half for our area with the highest totals may stay to our northwest something we're going to watch and we'll fine tune the forecast as we get a little closer just make sure you check back in with us on air and online you can go ahead and download the free br proud weather app to stay ahead of any thunderstorms so here you go 79 all the way down to 72 by saturday potentially even cooler on sunday upper 60s lower 70s monday 75 with rain returning to the forecast into 